We have finalized it last year after five years of hard work and negotiation between all different stakeholders, NGOs, and the same level as government, as industries, as labor, as consumers. And we're very proud to say that ISO 26000 for Social Responsibility is out now. It has been published. Environment is very high in this agenda, so we see this as another opportunity. Another opportunity is the growing experience of NGOs in the region. We're not today as if we were 10 years ago. The youngest uh, in the region that we know is like 10 years ago, which means they have survived the initial set of problems. Not taking money from polluters was, and still is, one of the major challenges facing environmental entities. So the credible NGOs might put their credibility and reputation at risk for a handful of dollars, which they need to deliver one of their important messages. And sometimes NGO can discover that they are advocating for things that are contradicting and clashing with their mission statement and vision without noticing. Then there is a struggle between pure advocacy for the cause we believe in and between taking consideration uh, funding opportunity. The ideal would be that we have the cause that we believe in and there is this existing funding for us to work in this direction, but this is not an ideal world. So after seeing the full picture, uh, let me take you to our case study. I would like you to know our work in Bahrain, what we did and what we are still doing uh, at the Environment Friends Society. So, with EFS going from the sea to the desert, to the farms, and working with uh, politicians, working with children at school, protesting in the streets, of course, in a legal manner, and uh, giving lectures and seminars. In all of this, we believe that um, the most important thing was the motto that we have for public awareness. And, you, and often it's linking any environmental issue to other issues. Highlighted by EFS before, and then it has to be clear, it has to be simple. Otherwise, people will not get it. We usually start with, we have only one earth. But keeping in mind that there is no one-size-fits-all solution, Tailor-made campaigns are designed by EFES to force all stakeholders engaged in the daily impact of any environmental issues uh, in their daily life. They have to, sh to see the health impact, social impact, economy. It has to be there. Otherwise, it doesn't get people's attention. In spite of all efforts of PR agencies and in-house communication practitioners, green buildings are still a far to attain goal. And who are still relying on fossil fuels? As alternative sources of energy are still experimental with many fossil setbacks as we have heard in this conference. Not to mention security rising issues and safety rising issues. To be realistic, I believe that we need to emphasize for at least the 10 coming years 